look so beautiful today. Thank you. This kind of thing. Are you okay? Also so hard to let you go. Then I think you should just follow your mom's advice. Like just let all these things go. I don't know how to survive. Okay. I really don't know what to do. You guys get your butt down. This is Alison Perry, a new student of this school. Who is one of our classmates? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Please, make the new student feel at ease. Okay. Go and sit down. Sir, please, I'm looking at seconds. with any of you guys. So why you bother me? Hey, you're drinking your wow. wow. Yeah, this is so good. Cool. Yeah, I know this is so good. I beg you, stay back. You still don't really know who I am. Yeah. Yes, you complain. So tell us who you are, mean girl. You're very rude. You know what? You can call me whatever you want. But I, Alison Perry, came to rule this school. And so, no one, I repeat, no one will look down on me or even try to play smart with me. Oh my god. You're just you. Yes, sir. Since you are the best students in academic housing, we need Alice in the tutorial about today's topic. Um, sir, that's a good idea, but I'm not feeling so well. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Thank you, sir. Oh, seriously, sorry. You're not feeling too close. Yes, Robbie. I think Andrew will have to give Alice the tutorial. Okay, Is there a problem? No, no, sir, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Then I think you and Alice have to make use of this break time. Okay, sir. Tutorial. Okay, sir. Just make sure you don't stop doing the tutorial soon. <laughs> <laughs> Not giving Alice in the tutorials. What? What do right. you mean? You heard what Zaire said, right? Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. I heard. I will give Alice in the tutorials. <laughs> but you said you're not feeling too I remember what I said, okay? I will give Alice in the tutorials, and the first tutorials I'm going to give her is to learn some manners. But, yeah. But yeah. Mr. Avon, you think I'm so being for it? Yeah, that's true. It's going to change. Exactly. Yeah. So, Andre. Listen, I will give Alison the tutorials and that's final. <laughs> Wait for this love, man. You are a rude girl. Hi. Hi. I'm Andre. Mr. Aaron, the mathematics teacher, asked me to give you a tutorial on today's topic. Please, may I see? Yeah, 
How was this class? Yeah, just fast sleep. What do you think Andrea and Allison are talking about? Are you hungry? How long do you think their tutorials will end? Come on, can't you just go? You can't leave your class and starve you. <laughs> are you serious? They just laughed. No, 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 no. I, I don't know what's happening over there. I'm going over. Valerie, that's necessary. Well, that's Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi, Valerie. So, how's the tutorials going? Fine. Well, I was wondering if Andre, my boyfriend, would like to go out for lunch with me, his girlfriend. You shouldn't have said that aloud. Why? You know it is prohibited for students to be involved in a love affair. What if, what if anyone tells on us? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't tell. Thank you. But you and Gio, whatever she is, should get lost right now. And I'm done with this tutorial. Wow. So rude. <laughs> yeah, I know. Get used to it. How dare you? Please, 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 let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I will leave, alright? But not because that thing wants me to. Yeah. Whatever, ah, just get out. So when are you returning my mother's bracelet? I misplaced it. <laughs> you what? Chloe, you know that bracelet knows Valerie's mom. Hey, I wasn't talking to you. I don't get it. They will sound sorry, sir. And how is your business? Ah, it's also Everybody. my business because Valerie is a friend. Exactly. See these guys though. And since when did you start caring for Valerie as much as Andre, her boyfriend? Oh, oh. oh I knew it. Andre doesn't even care for Valerie since I'll say the rainy one. What? You should have said that. Hapa. Ah. Andre doesn't even have any feelings for her. And you. Thief had the right to say such nonsense. I want my mother's bracelet back and I want it right now. Are you deaf? Or is your ear blocked? I said it's missing. Oh. If, only, if, if only you stop seeing. If only you stop seeing. All this won't happen. And look at pot calling kettle black. You, don't you like? You that tell lies over everything. And you know it. And how are you even sure that Robbie is your real name? Guys, calm down. Like, 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 Oh my god, I am ruling the school. So you think? You know what? Just stop talking to me. The new queen of the school. You are so, so delusional. I'm not. At least I forget. You don't tell me what to do and what not to do. You claim I am not ruling the school, but obviously I am. Everyone is so afraid of me. And they can't even step on my toe. Because they know I will spare them. <laughs> Remember. I'm not like you, softy. You hold Listen to me. Strong people for you. Yeah, strong people for you. But weak ones like you obviously goes for vengeance. And besides, when people are afraid of you, yes, when they are afraid of you, it doesn't mean respect gets into your head. Let me tell you. 
for putting fear in the heart of students. It proves one thing, that you, you are a bad Alison. Yes, you are, a, you are a very big bad Alison. I am that bad. Tell me why most of your friends abandon you this day. They did not. Oh, they did not. Really? Robin, Chloe and I had some misunderstandings. Okay. And it happens amongst friends, of course. So uh -huh. tell me why would you guys have misunderstanding? Why you keep advising Ruby not to lie and Chloe not to steal? And what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I don't know and I don't care. You this girl. Okay. You are just a troublemaker. Ruby and Chloe told me all about you. And how jealous you get when I'm around your boyfriend, Andre, which has no or little affection for you anymore. Be very, very, very careful with me, Alison. Oh, tell me, am I overstepping my boundaries here? Listen, let me advise you. No, no, no. I, like I, would advise you, you know what, to leave Andre alone. Because soon enough, he'll be breaking up with you. And he will come right straight to me. Oh, no. He's already with me. It's just a matter of time for you guys to break up to be official. Huh. So sad, right? But the good news is, seeing you sad gives me joy. You know what? Ruby told me how your mom asked you to break up with Andre. But you refused. Bad, 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 Ruby. You're so disobedient. But you know, breaking up with Andre, before I, Alison Perry, arrived, would have saved you all this drama, you know? Don't, I mean, don't ever tell me how to live my life. And don't tell me how to live my life either.
Are you usually this stupid? Or are you just trying to make a special effort today? <laughs> I have heard all your insults, Alison. Okay. But you don't have to disrespect and insult me simply to hold your own ground. But if you do, it simply shows how shaky your own position is. Oh. Uh -huh. I am curious to know. Can you please tell me? Oh no. Tell the whole school. If being stupid is your profession. Oh, I can see you're just gifted with it. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I don't need a dictionary to find out what a moron is. Because you, standing right here in front of me, is a perfect, clear definition of a moron. Yeah, you are a moron. Did you just call me a moron? Yes, I did. Like, when she said hi, I was like, wow, she's actually actually nice. Oh, I 
her voice is everything. She's like an angel. But now, ah, the container is so perfect, but the content is ah. Thank you. Oh my God, I was like, I was like, you know, like they say, a beauty, a beautiful person is actually just in the perception of the mind. Like, I don't know about to say that. And there was like. You know, she, 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 she stepped in and was like, oh my god, this girl is beauty. She's an angel and she'll be so kind. But, uh, uh, she just, just started. Like, I like, they just said camera action and then boom, boom. <laughs> I was. See the way she was snubbing the uh, Aaron guy, I mean, um, Andre, that Mr. Aaron sent to her. She was uh, like, ah. Uh, but she was like, that was true. The guy just in there too. At least, even, yes. if, even if she. she Revenging and this stuff, you have to so know. By the way, it's not all your friends that left you. I'm still here and I'm your friend. Valerie. 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 Are so you even listening to me at all? I was thinking of something. What were you thinking about? I don't know if it's going to work. I really don't know. And you just give me a clue. Tell me something. I want to split Alison and Andrew. Come on, just forget about those two already. No, no, ah. no, no, no. I can't forget. I want to make Andrew jealous. As I'm very, very jealous. So how would, how would that break them up? I don't get <laughs> I know Andrew very well. Yeah. And I know he's going to get so jealous when he sees me with another guy in a love affair. Yeah. So he's going to realize he misses me so much and break up with that Alison. So... She will be so sad and... I'll be happy because I know Andre is going to come back to me. So how do you intend on bringing up this girl? You are going to be my fake boyfriend. What? Valerie, how could you think of such a thing? Listen then, I know, I know it. I understand. Come on, how I know could it's you not... even think of such? Please, you are my friend. You are the only friend I have now. Who else can help me now if not you? Who else? You are the only one that can help me, man. Can't we just help me do this? It's fine. a fake thing. Fine, 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 fine. I'll do it. Thank you, thank you. But, but remember, I'm not fine comfortable with people like you, but I understand. But, thank you, Alison. Alright, fine. So, what's next, man? I think Valerie. Uh, we could do Yeah? Have you noticed that Ben and Valerie are closer than before? See now you're not to say. No, don't know they are late. Say. You don't know what is happening. It's fast. No wonder. Yes, now. I've oh. been seeing them since. Now I get it. <laughs> For the past few weeks, you've been acting as a fake boyfriend, real good. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Please don't mind. Oh, okay, you're nice. Do you notice Andre has been staring at us? Very soon, 
Andre and Alison will have a breakup. And Andre, yes, my Andre, will come back to me. And Alison will be crying. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait to see her face. <laughs> Where are you from? Is there a problem? Why am I frowning? Really? Tell me something. Do you really want Andre back? Of course I want Andre back. Or you just want to show Alison that you can get Andre back? I'm doing all this because I'm still in love with Andre. Come on. Yeah, I'm in love with him. But then, see my eyes and tell me if you're not me. I'll just pretend as if I didn't hear that. Do you think I accepted to be your big boyfriend because I want you and what's his name? Andrew back together. I told you start spending time together, you forget about that guy. Listen, I, I thought we had an understanding here. Andrew, Andrew know I always liked you specially. But come on, do you think we could be in a real love affair this time? Then, no, it can't happen. I am. Um, it, it can't work. I'm sorry. It can't work that way. Let's just continue with the fake boyfriend thing and the What? what is it? Do you think I'm a toy? Like you randomly no. play with my emotions at real and I can't do this anymore. I can't. Ben, wait, 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 Ben. I can't, I can't, I can't be doing this. Ben. She shouldn't watch us since last month till today now. <laughs> she be dead, you are feeling like the queen of me. <laughs> are you guys really mocking me? They are not mocking you. Uh -uh. <laughs> me, I was mocking her. Robbie, what about you? Slow, same here now. Then you guys better stop mocking me now. Then you guys better stop mocking me now. <laughs> Robbie! You know, being mean is not classy. You know? You should tell her that one. See, I've been thinking and um, I decided to stop lying. Or well, even when I tell the truth, you don't believe me, right? Yeah, yes, that's true. true. I remember our job last week, Valerie. Valerie was just framing me up with me. Even when I said, okay, I wasn't responsible, they still didn't believe me. That's a big old What about me, sir? I suffered most. I suffered most. So bad that the Valerie I know is mm. now a bad person. Uh. Well, me, I don't want trouble, though. I've said clear. Me too. Me, me three. <laughs> you three? <laughs> I won't stay away from her. Okay. Why? Well, don't tell me you still love her. I don't know what I feel right now, but I know I have to make some amends. You're not breaking with me, sir. So you're not breaking up with me for her. Yes. I feel so jealous whenever I see Ben and Valerie together. Wait, did you just say you feel just we keep Ben and Valerie together? Did I say that? Yes! And I'm angry you still care about her. What? Did she just push my book? Your book just fell. I hear that's because a mean person just pushed my book. Well, that doesn't change the fact that your book just fell. And that doesn't change the fact that a mean person just pushed my book. Well, you know what? You can say whatever you want. Ever. After all, you got your mouth. What just happened to you, Valerie? I was thinking. Yeah, we all miss the good Valerie. Yeah, we do. Do. Listen, 
I know the good value you have given them. Please come back. You are obviously happy, Ben. You have finally gotten Valerie, the girl of your dreams. Yes, I got her. So, let's go, Valerie. Yeah, bye. Why are you always taking her away? She just is just taking her away. You don't care about her. I do care about her, and I was never in the support of your relationship with Valerie. You think I care about her right now? You turn Valerie into the game. Ben, angry, angry. You're just so blind. Can't you see the obvious truth about Valerie in front of your eyes? Wake up with Valerie and I'll wake up with Valerie. Hey, 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 what's the idea? I want to support of that nonsense. You have no choice. Well, you see, I got the last laugh. You don't be so sure about that, mean girl. Oh, we shall see about that. You can prove that. Yes, we shall see. Andrew, let's get out of here. No. When oh. Valerie was with me, she wasn't me. Go on. Try not to offend me. What if I offend you by the with Valerie? Then you face my heart. <laughs> Can you do this? Yeah, run right along, like you always do. Whoa! 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 from everlasting guilt. Even if I try to talk, nothing will come out. I'm lucky to be in a bigger um, um, trouble than, than, than uh, exposure. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. That's why it was never a good idea to plan, think, or execute evil. Now look how you caught, caught in, all, in all this mess. I don't know why. 
that whole. And I don't, I, I can't steal those things. Really. I, I think she's doing that. Carrot. I'm just feeling so bad. Just try it here. Good day, class. Good day, mom. How are you all today? Fine, mom. Why is the seat empty? Okay, I'm here because of what has been going on in this very class. Valerie right here has told me how she manipulated her friends and I am very, very disappointed with her. She told me she was the one who planted those sheets in your answer booklet. I am not saying this for you to judge her. She had her own reasons and you guys pushed her into that. It's very difficult for me to believe that Andre has nothing to do with this. But she told me everything. And I'm very, very disappointed with all of you. I am very angry. But I don't know you two to be like that. I wonder what happened to you. And for you, Chloe, your, your, your story is something else in this school. Feeling and the rest. The things that were found in your bags. You're still mind me. Is Valerie again? Is she responsible? And Ruby, your lies is something else. You can, you can decide to just sell this school to someone, even without the person knowing that you are not the owner of the school. I am totally disappointed. Valerie here has something to tell you guys. Valerie. 
like she was always on my way she's the good girl she's this she's that intelligent she was trying to come in between whatever i wanted to do again and so it was it was all annoying for me because i didn't want to go through whatever i went through in my former school i didn't know how to stand out for myself so that's why i came and i became me i wanted to shine i just wanted to be that girl that everyone
to make Jenny Blue hotter than before. So I added some stuff I think to make it some interesting actions. I wrote for the fan fiction, which was banned by them. And after doing that, I realized that the, the movie has changed, kind of, and I needed a, a different name, not just Jenny Blue, because Jenny Blue is just centered on one person. So, yeah, my niece and I came up with the name, my niece Bliss came up with the name um, High School Diaries. Actually, she came up with it. She was like, let's make it High School Diaries. I was like, I don't think so. Perhaps another name and funny names were just coming to my mind. But anyway, so yeah, we'll have it. High School Diaries, the second movie for my entertainment company. And yeah, the cast, I'm also a cast and the main director. Right here is my assistant director and we are we are happy to do this because this movie is mind blowing. Wow. Oh that was really nice. Okay, real quick, let's let's start with with Mr. Daniel. Um Mr. Daniel, tell us tell us your role as as um, Robbie. Robbie in the movie and tell us tell us how you felt what motivated you and your your inspiration towards it? I played part of Robby in the last two years. And Robby, I think Robby is just a cool, calm and collected guy in the movie. I think it was a good one. I'm sure I feel great playing that part because that's the kind of part I like to play. So, I love the part. I shall keep it funny like this. <laughs> Alright, tell us tell us your role in the movie and your moral lessons you're going to give out there. So, um, tell us your, your name and the role you played in the movie High School Diaries. Hi guys, my name is Chiki K. I I played the role of Ben in High School Diaries. So, Ben is a character who fell in love with High School Diaries and wanted to give out of us and he had to emo emotionally blackmail her and be scared of her. So, the message to you out there is that don't be So 
my role in the movie was I was this guy, this kind of quiet guy who was in love with his and then a new girl shows up in school and tries to take him away. So my advice out there is be contemptive to watch you Don't just go to someone <laughs> simply because <laughs> simply because she's pretty or just be contemptive to watch you are. Yeah, all these our guys with the eyes, they shoot <laughs> from here to there. You don't want to take one, 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 one. You see it? Um, so, real quick, um, I've been thinking, how, how did you select, select your, your cast to be as perfect as, as they are? Like, I don't understand, how do you do it? Okay, How do you guys well. meet? Okay. Maybe that's me kind of character. Yeah. I'm not like that. And, right. yeah. So 
I've just been watching the girl and once she just told me this and I think I just paid for it. Wow, that's nice. So it nice. wasn't that fine. Mm, that, that, that's really good. So Mr. Boris, tell us, what was the experience? That's a wonderful experience. Uh, I'm really happy that you played this role. Like, Andre is the best friend like Boris in real life. Yeah. Oh, yeah, He's a yeah, really quiet, <laughs> quiet and calm guy. So I, it's in perfect. Mm -hmm. so I'm really the quiet and calm guy that the old girls in school are dying for. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> ah, Mr. Mashinua. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, um, Mr. Blessing. So tell us, what was your experience? How was it like, you know, being being the director and still being the scriptwriter and still acting as as Miss Valerie? As, as some, some people call Valeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Valeria. <laughs> so, when you say it's Valeria, Valeria. Chef, so Miss Valeria, tell us how was it like, like experience yeah. and all that? Acting as, um, I did so much in this movie, honestly speaking. So, so much. <laughs> yeah. Acting, doing the, the scripting, directing, and acting is not a joke. That thing is not a joke at all. Yeah. Directing and acting yeah. is not a joke. Okay. She was, yeah, yeah. but the time she came to me, then if I think I used to say, me, let her work. <laughs> but, anyways, that was that was actually nice. Watch, watching Valerie, do what she did in the movie, man. That was, I myself, while I look for one because it was too much, the stress was too much. Yeah. So, all thanks to you, um, and to God, and to God. Yeah. 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 my guy, you just the always smile with your red lips. <laughs> so, tell us. How was the experience? Like, how was it? My experience is just a little awesome. I had a small time. Yes, I was. I got to meet some awesome people. Yeah, yeah. We did five. That's the area. Oh, come on, guys. So, well, uh, me acting as Ben in the movie, I was very comfortable in my role. I think I did complete my, myself. Yeah, you did well. In the movie. Ben was, Ben was like, we don't understand. We don't understand. Tell us. 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 Tell us.